Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. We got a Stokely Montero AX for you today. This ski returns unchanged from last year and still just a ripping 80 millimeter all mountain ski with a front side flare that is about as smooth and crisp as it gets in terms of performance and smoothness. Uh, it's just an absolute sheer pleasure to ski uh, and it does come with the price tag but it does equate to that just quiet overall feel. There's not much else out there that feels like this ski. Uh, and for like where we are here in Vermont, most days uh, a lot of our skiing is done on groomed terrain. So it makes sense to have kind of conditions and terrain appropriate skis. Someone who skis in more snowy areas, this might be kind of more of a hard snow day, low snow day ski. Uh, but a lot of people kind of throughout, uh, throughout the world will find more success on something in this shape than uh, a wider, you know, 88 to 95 millimeter all mountain ski. Uh, this Montero AX is just the, the cream of the crop when it comes to uh, carving clean, crisp turns. And there is some all mountain capabilities to it as well. Uh, we do have a lightweight wood core on this ski and that's bookended by two sheets of metal. Uh, so it's a really interesting blend of lightweight, energetic, that polonia wood core uh, combined with two denser uh, laminates of metal. And then like all of Stokely's skis, uh, within their kind of, uh, they use their rubber dust and their epoxy layers and their bonding process. So that just gives the ski an extra level of smoothness. Uh, this one here is the 173 looking at a 15 and a half meter turn radius. So pretty sharp turner, definitely kind of inching into that slalom style turn. Uh, and it does have that distinctly front side shape to it as well with that longer shovel and relatively shorter tail. So a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of build up here in the forebody of the ski and then a stiff responsiveness out of the tail. So you really get that snap into the, into the next portion of the turn but they also use their flex torsion control technology here. So they're carving out slits, uh, kind of S-shaped slits in the forebody and in the tail here. And that allows the ski to torsionally flex a little bit easier. Uh, basically it allows the ski to have more ski in the snow. And anytime that you're increasing that contact, you're making for a smoother overall feel. So interesting way of engineering the ski for sure. Um, this one does come with this Strive uh, system binding. Um, you can get it flat as well. Obviously the matching of the Strive is, is the big selling point here, um, but we've had success with other bindings. Uh, Jeff has a pair of his own with a, a look pivot with a 75 millimeter break, and he feels that that really opens up kind of more of that all mountain capability where a Strive or even a more race-like binding, a marker Excel or something like that, uh, will give it more of that on-piste feel. Um, also heard of people putting plates on this ski, and while that's gonna boost that front side capability, it is gonna knock down the versatility quite a bit. So uh, lots of options in terms of how you wanna use this ski, um, but we found that having, that, having it flat with um, just a normal Alpine binding works really, really well. Slight tip rocker, not a whole lot to talk about there. Um, and a kind of rounded taper shape. Again, nothing too dramatic, pretty traditional. And then even more so in the tail, uh, pretty firmly squared off here, uh, minimal taper, you know, just at the very end. Um, and then that square metal in the back here gives you just that insane kick out of the turn. Excellent energy, super smooth. Um, yeah, a little bit pricey, but um, in just incredibly fun and rewarding ski to be on in a variety of conditions, but more specifically towards the firm side of the spectrum. So make sure you check out this Stokely Montero AX here at SkiEssentials.com, and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.